Hi guys, David here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of cutting a circle out of a piece of wood without a jigsaw or a bandsaw. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm making this video. I had a remark from Trevor Collins. He told me he's making a whirly gig and he needs to cut out a circle and his jigsaw is broken. Do I have a solution for him? So it's not something I do every day, but let's have a go. He said he wanted about a three inch circle, I think, maybe a bit bigger, but this is just a bit of wood I had on hand. So I'm just gonna mark approximately the center here. I'm gonna make a circle with a compass, just a regular old school kids compass. So now I'm going to screw this onto the edge of the table, like this, and just to stop it moving even more, I'm going to put a clamp on it here. So now we're doing all of this because our jigsaw is broken and we don't own a coping saw or a band saw. And what we're going to do, we're going to start to cut off corners, just crossing the line like this. I can open my clamp. I think that's pretty round. Can we see that? There you go. So without a jigsaw, without a bandsaw, with a panel saw and some sandpaper, you can cut a circle. This is a coping saw. If you have a coping saw, they have a very narrow blade which can cut all sorts of shapes and they can cut circles. So uh, let's give it a go with the coping saw. Okay, so uh, coping saws, they're like Japanese saws. You should put them with the teeth pointing backwards. They cut on the pull stroke. So it's gonna be far easier for me to come at this workpiece from down here and use gravity to help me. Now you see, look, whichever way I turn the handle, the saw goes. Now it's very uncomfortable, this screwed on the edge of the table, I must be honest. There we are. So again, I'd want to go with this at this with a rasp, but to be honest with you, I'm not going to do it because I don't even need these circles. It was just for a demonstration. You can do it with a coping saw, but as you see, I didn't get the best results. This material's a bit too thick for the saw. You get better results with thin material because the blade is so delicate. So there we are. Anyway, I could now rasp all this and clean it up. I get to a circle like I did before. Okay. okay guys, well there you have it. I did get a much better result with a panel saw than with the coping saw. The coping saw came out pretty wobbly, but I think that was partly because 
the wood was just screwed on the edge of the table so it wasn't very comfortable to saw. If I put it in the vise and could use two hands on the saw, it's going to be much more comfortable and accurate. And also the material is a bit thick for that delicate little blade. Uh, maybe if it was 6mm or 4mm, it's much more fun with a coping saw. But if that's what you've got, just steer clear of the line and afterwards with a rasp or sandpaper, bring it up close to the line. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, share it with your friends. Subscribe, like, ring the little bell, wherever it is. Comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and Trevor, I hope you have good luck with your whirly gig. Bye for now.